Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can construct a raw Bitcoin transaction using Bitcoin Core. A raw Bitcoin transaction is constructed from the bottom up uh, and this means that it is fully parameterizable, fully customizable. It gives you complete control over how the transaction is, is built, how the transaction is sent. It gives you powerful control over the fees, to how many recipients you send uh, your transaction to, and so on and so forth. Some mobile wallets, some desktop wallets, web wallets and exchange wallets might omit some of the information that we'll be discussing today for the sake of simplicity. Um, they might omit this information entirely or they may simplify it. They may, for instance, choose the fees for you or uh, autofill, autocomplete the recipient address. Of course, those are useful features, uh, but uh, it helps to understand how a raw Bitcoin transaction is constructed. The truth is that the cases where you will need to construct raw transactions are vanishingly rare. Uh, wallets are becoming increasingly better at understanding user intent, minimizing errors, but we will be constructing the raw transaction today uh, because it teaches, it teaches us important lessons about how cryptocurrency and how Bitcoin uh, works. Now, I mentioned this, I mentioned that we will be doing this with Bitcoin Core. For those of you that do not know what Bitcoin Core is, this is the reference client implementation for Bitcoin. Uh, it is an open source software and when you run a Bitcoin Core, you basically run Bitcoin. Uh, you run a copy or you have a copy of the Bitcoin blockchain and you can uh, interact with a network in a self-sovereign way. You are a peer uh, in, in the network and you don't rely on third parties for access to the information that's on the Bitcoin blockchain. You don't rely on third parties um, for constructing the transactions for you. Uh, you are uh, a peer in the network and you have uh, you're a first class uh, citizen. Uh, another thing that I want to mention before we start with the tutorial is that you will hear me reference uh, a term called a uh, vout or vout uh, of a transaction. So I'd like to brief briefly explain what that means. Now it helps here to understand how UTXOs work. So Bitcoin transactions consume, if you will, previous outputs or UTXOs as inputs for uh, the next uh, transactions, okay, for the next transaction. Uh, transactions can, of course, have multiple outputs, right? They can send funds to, to many addresses and can have multiple inputs. Uh, a simple way to think about this is, let's say that you want to pay for your coffee or a bagel with cash and you simply, you know, um, have uh, five pounds in one pocket and some spare change in your other pocket. So multiple inputs in that uh, instance would mean that you're, you're taking the five pound note, you're taking the loose change and you're combining it um, and paying for your coffee and bagel. Multiple outputs would mean that, of course, the coffee shop is paid, but you're also paid in the form of the change uh, you receive, right? So transactions can have multiple inputs, multiple outputs. A, a VOUT, VOUT, is a variable that helps us I identify the specific output of a specific uh, transaction that we want to spend, okay? Or use as an input for a different transaction. So the transaction has, of course, you should be aware with of, of those terms. The transaction has tells us which transaction we want to, to use. And the VOUT is an index that tells us which output of this transaction we want to use as an input. Now, usually transactions have one or two outputs. Uh, usually one for the recipient of the funds and one for the change uh, address. So usually the VOUT is either zero 
or one with zero you know denoting one output and one denoting two outputs right um, so this is pretty much what about is um, and the last thing I want to mention before I get on with the tutorial is that I do not have a local uh, implementation of a full node on my laptop uh, where I do this recording so I will be voicing over a tutorial the details of which will be provided in this video's description. Let's get started.